Murder charges. Tonight, Brent Kemp is charged with first degree intentional homicide in the stabbing death of his girlfriend, Trish Wash Washbish, in her Peshtigo home. Today, we learned disturbing new details about what happened. NBC 26's Jonathan Gregg is live at 10 with more. Stacy, according to the criminal complaint released tonight, it was Washbish's 13 year old daughter who discovered her mother's body. Well, on Monday, Brent Kemp was picked up by Wauwatosa police, found sleeping in his car some 170 miles south of Peshtigo. In the criminal complaint, it says police asked him why he ran away from home. Kemp stated he killed his girlfriend. It goes on to say Washbish's body was found by her daughter. A friend of the family telling police the daughter went into the home and then he heard her scream. He followed inside, saw Patricia Washbish's body, and they left to call 911. The Marinette County District Attorney is seeking a first degree intentional homicide conviction. DA Alan Bry knew the victim very well. I used to see uh, Trish in his courthouse uh, sometimes three times a day, certainly three times a week. Because I did have interaction with her and knew her, it's difficult. It's difficult for us all, yet we're required to do our job. Washbish was the interim director of Rainbow House, a domestic abuse shelter in Marinette. Her work often took her to the courthouse. Attorney Bry says Kemp's comments to police takes a lot of the guesswork out of the investigation still. No winners, and you don't keep score on something like this. It just, no winners, all losers, all the way around. According to court records, Kemp had a history of domestic violence against Washbish. He'll make his first court appearance tomorrow morning. Jonathan Gregg, NBC 26. And funeral arrangements are set tonight for Washbish. Visitation will start at 10 a.m. on Friday at Rhodes Charapana Funeral Home in Coleman. Funeral services begin at 3 p.m.